Hello folks, welcome to another Bitcoin market analysis by Inspo Crypto. Well, we will see today a little bit late to be honest because uh, as some of you know I had last Friday an interview with a friend of mine, he's a German journalist and we did in the past two or three podcasts and this time he was just requesting an interview talking about FTX, the collapse and so on and so forth. So we did this awesome interview last week and now he just sent me all the interview content just to make a review to make you know to adjust some informations and that just took more time than expected so we are going to make uh, a nice and deep but quick overview today about the market what's happening to be honest i was expecting a little bit more today because uh, we had GDP today, we had the ADP non-form employment change today, we had the job openings today. Uh, I mean, a lot of information, even yesterday, CB consumer confidence. Um, in 40 minutes, we will have Fed Chair Powell speaks. Uh, we will talk and he will, uh, we will see if we have the time. I will check if I can start a space and 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 listen to him what he is going to say. In my opinion, uh, the whole current and and recent data is indicating, hey, the U.S. economy is strong. And come on, I mean, why people or people? I mean, that gives us enough arguments to keep making what we were doing just hiking rates, maybe not 75 BPS, maybe just 50 BPS. But, you know, if you check the energy prices, if you check, for example, uh, the oil and the crude oil and the price, how it declined, why the inflation maintains at a high level, at least in Europe, I guess, and the US still maintains its level. The big question is, why should these guys just say, hey, let us make a pivot? doesn't make sense to me still convinced it's not going to happen however tomorrow core PC price index we are talking about inflation tomorrow we will see um, if the inflation declined I mean we had in um, let me see that was August 0.5 percent September 0.3 percent so only 0.2 percent down and we will see what's going to happen tomorrow. Initial jobless claims, hmm, okay. And ISM manufacturing PMI, hmm, okay. Friday, <laughs> it's really a tough week. Non-form payrolls for November and unemployment rate November. So we have the GDP went up from 2.7% to 2.9%, indicating the economy is not shrinking. It's even um, uh, lifting up even more and the last time the unemployment rate uh, was confirmed from its preview so from from oh, no September so September we had 3.7% October we had 3.7% and now we need to see if the unemployment rate for November is going to go up or down or maintain 3.7% I think that could be with the PCE, a core PCE price index tomorrow, the key changer, game changer, key changer, game changer. Ah, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean. However, let us go forward and check what's happening here related to Bitcoin and if we can figure out what's going to happen next. Because as mentioned, uh, I was expecting uh, more. Uh, a bigger impact to the price. It didn't happen. That was surprising me a little bit. So it looks like everything is decoupled. So Bitcoin is decoupled from SPY. SPY is now decoupled from DXY. Too many coincidences. I don't like that. I usually don't trust that. So mm, I would be careful. Something in my stomach is saying, oh, inspo, that doesn't look great. Yeah, well, but we will see. 
I was short term bullish as you know I was saying 70k let us check what's happening in 70k we will take a look to the um, exchange walls it seems that some liquidity or sell orders um, were just moved to the downside at 17 and 17.5 instead of 18 you remember so oof, I don't know I don't like that however uh, weights ratio 30 days moving average declining uh, finally declining yeah it matches very well at the moment yesterday 42 indicating uh, less sell pressure should happen because I, I mean it's not over it's just still too high but however at the moment it's indicating um, you know the market or it seems whales are calming down and sending less uh, bitcoins to um, centralized exchanges. If we check, for example, the one hour time frame, we see at the moment 97 indicating, oh, this guy wants to sell now. Um, I'm not sure if we are done. Usually when we see double dump here on weights ratio one hour time frame, that means, and I'm not sure if that was the first one, that's the second, if, if so, we are done. If that's not going to happen, instead the waste ratio goes up, hitting 90 means we will go down afterwards. So that's something we need to track. However, at the moment, also very interesting, uh, <laughs> very volatile what uh, stable coin reserves and centralized exchanges are doing. Um, so it seems every time close before we go up, we receive stable coins, they cash out afterwards. Or some people are cashing out. Um, Stablecoin supply reducing a lot, but once again, I I don't see, I don't know what crypto point is measuring there. However, weights ratio thirty hour move, um, thirty hours moving average went up, even more declined, and it seems now here something is happening, but. I don't, it's too early to say what exactly, but usually with, uh, if that maintains and we maintain that now 90, 80 and 100, we will go up. And then I would say be extremely careful because that's a very accurate indicator. We will go down afterwards. So be extremely careful here. Let's just go forward. Okay. My God, my God, how dynamic the whole thing is. Um, what we see here, we received in the last two hours, 4,500 Bitcoins. Usually you would say, ah, but uh, inspo, that's not big. Yes, it is. I, I mean, no, but it is. Because if we check then what the fund flow of our lovely market maker are doing, 2,000 Bitcoins. It's the first time uh, that they send that much after, what was that we had here? Yeah, that was almost uh, November 18th. So it's, it's a little bit uh, indicating they're making some kind of preparation. Uh, that's a teaser because we are not, we, we, we need to um, check what's happening here first. So I would be extremely careful that looks like we will go down once again. Um, and so, you know, if you are longing, just have this in mind, just to tell you that. However, at the moment, um, 4,500 Bitcoins. At the same time, we had here 2,500, 3,500 Bitcoins outflows at the same time. So still a gap of 1,000 Bitcoins. We will see if bulls are ready to absorb all of that. I can't say more. So if we check now what is happening to, for example, stablecoins, we see a big distribution, 212 millions here and now 170 millions coming. Um, so bears are under control at the moment the question is why they are not dumping the price distribution that's what i mentioned but i would expect a distribution at 17.2 17.5 not yet uh, however we need to be extremely careful here let's just go forward 
So let me zoom out a little bit and now we can see open interest declining once again, uh, nothing happening, even leverage ratio didn't really recover. We had here a peak, then here, but since then, you know, it maintains and fund flow, uh, fund flow, funny rate. Funding rate almost, I mean, they were just demanding more longs, now just more shorts, but still neutral. So nothing big happening here. Um, yeah, um, we don't have anything here. I mean, pff, absolutely nothing. It's it's just, you know, 120 millions. That's, that's peanuts. Even here, 2,380 bitcoins, that was 2 a.m. this morning, peanuts, nothing, nothing happening here. If we go forward, we can check, that's the daily, even liquidations, peanuts. I mean, we had yesterday, was it yesterday? No, uh, 28th, but yesterday, nothing, nothing happened. No liquidations, nothing big happened. And you see, I mean, open interest maintains its level. I mean, it reduced a lot. It's not recovering anymore. Uh, the blue line, that's the leverage ratio. Also here, it was pushing, pushing, pushing up. Afterwards declined. It's maintaining. Like, you know, even the last retailer said, well, do you know what? It's, it's over. I don't want anymore. It's boring. It's painful. Every time when I think, oh, Look, the price is going up. I go long, they liquidate me every time afterwards. When we go down and I start to shop the bottom, every time they are liquidating. Yeah, that's the case. And that's actually your function. So to prevent that, it's not that easy, but possible. And that's what we are trying here. At the moment, also here, funding rate, you know, it's nothing happening it's it's straight it's flat binance zooming in we can see open interest lifting up if we zoom out also here we can see open interest nothing funding rate we can see here well the line wasn't that good but indicating they are demanding more longs if we check uh, the leverage ratio flat so also you're indicating gamblers are not in mood to go all in anymore so let us check blockchain whispers nothing have changed we have here 58 to 42 once again it looks much better on ethereum well bears here under control 51 to 49 um on bitfinex nothing have changed and bitfinex i'm sorry just low volume um if we go forward, we can see I have prepared everything. Yeah, it looks like if we want really to liquidate something, then we should go back hitting 16K. However, we have a big liquidation cluster here. That's uh, a bar somewhere between 20,000 and 20,100. But if we check that, we can see that's how it looks while on locks uh, on longs it looks um, different so usually we need to push up very hard something I doubt or we will liquidate this one and it makes more sense to go in that direction however as mentioned it's still possible to go up maybe to 17100 17200 maybe a little bit more and then to start to go down. But that's something we need to see. I, I really don't know yet. Uh, we have to wait, but mm, I don't like it. I really don't like uh, what I'm seeing at the moment, mm, to be honest. And, um, you know, we'll need a little bit more patience, I guess. So then let us go forward to options. That was really a quick one. Five minutes. So what we see here, Binance, CBD, pushed up. It's 
they are distributing market um, actors are market traders are distributing after they purchased here and afterwards they started to distribute making money because they are distributing here and they purchased big here so they are making a nice deal right now um, as you see that's the aggregated looks very similar and even the futures looks well not exactly the same because they are uh, almost here holding a little bit the price they are shorting here but it looks really similar if we go forward uh, we see that's bit uh, bitfinex and bitfinex uh, they are just straight still buying right now maintaining here but you know doesn't look that bearish also kraken kraken also did this nice deal uh how reacted yeah of course bitfinex as well so it seems bitfinex once again and uh also very interesting kraken it's if you, if you check very accurate the correlation if we check for example bybit we see that bybit even they uh, <laughs> they uh, did exactly the same at the same time it's it's just so incredible um however they distributed and start to buy again and now it seems they want to start to distribute once again if we check of course coinbase and that's really surprising me usually coinbase is up only but at the moment not really so they distributed uh, market traders distributed then they accumulated and now they are distributing uh, relatively aggressive um, if we check next bitstamp we see also Bitstamp was buying, 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 and I don't know. It looks like they want to flip to distribution. That's something we need to see. Uh, we don't know it yet. So that was about CBD. If we check the what happened here today, for example, uh, we see that we, you know, that's uh what happened today so we can see uh, let's just make okay that's that's stupid i can remove that we can see uh we are receiving more uh inflows than outflows now we had here both were rising and then the outflows declined while the inflows are rising even more and that correlates very well of course to the bitcoin balance on exchanges because they are lifting up usually also here indicating they want to sell they want to sell they are sending more bitcoins to centralized exchanges as mentioned just before the waste ratio is still too high indicating they are still sending bitcoins not that much anymore but still sending and i mean you know so we are not done or at least they want to maintain the current price not sure if they just want to maintain the current price if they want to distribute the way up for that we need stable coins to buy and to push up or only fear something i it would surprise me so in my opinion we are absolutely not done and um we will see how far they want to go but i can imagine that soon they will start to push down once again so if we check from material scientist uh, we can see we have um here right now um orders still waiting sell orders at the same time at 15.5 they reduced one wall uh, but at 15.5 we still have one the most interesting part is here that orders um with one to ten thousand dollars they pushed up very hard and started to distribute while if we check for example uh, that would be green you know this one's here if we check for example the big big ones we can see they pushed up down up 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 oh, they are buying 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 
The question is who is behind, uh, behind and for what purposes? So does it mean they started to accumulate? If so, we need to see that. Otherwise, it's not happening. So we need to see that. Um, if we check, for example, these guys here uh, making uh, orders, triggering orders 100k to 1 million, they start to buy, distribute it, and buy, 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 also here. So who is selling at the moment? Uh, we can see selling is those guys here making or just selling, making orders 10k to 100k. But these guys are distributing all the time. That looks like a little bit like the market maker, to, to be honest. Um, looks very similar because we had a bounce and so on and so forth. So it looks really similar. If we check, for example, um, also these guys here, um, at least that's all orders. If we check all orders, we can see that's the blue line here went up, but it's declining once again. So all orders usually indicating that's the average. Even the big orders are going up. And that's just a scale. So um, just telling you that, for example, um, these guys, they bought from here are now here. So it means they just bought for 150 millions almost. Um, however, but if we check the blue line at the moment, looks like distribution. So because it's all orders, you know, and I would be extremely careful here as mentioned. So we have some orders here waiting, but you know, we will check the exchange walls next. Doesn't look that great. Oops. So, okay. Uh, sorry. Good. Then let us go forward. Mm, we have retailers of course lifting up of course lifting up okay of course lifting up so all wallets with less than 100 bitcoins extremely bullish these guys here not doing anything market maker entities they declined now lifting up a little bit i didn't change if we had some shifts in wallets i will check just uh, next and this guy's declining also very interesting um, however, let us check if we can see a difference. So, uh, these guys, no, 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 10 to 1, no. We see uh, they reduced wallets. These guys, mm, I think something is wrong here. Why? Uh, BTC supply, yeah, that's correct. So the market maker, eh, what happened here? Hello? Ah, oh, okay. So the market maker is 1,000 to 10,000. 1,000 to 10,000. So means if we had here 1,983, we have 1,969. These guys declined in wallets count as well. Only this, I mean, yeah, well, uh, we just have five wallets there, so it's one. So that's not possible. This one as well, not. It seems, yeah, big guys are reducing more their balances. So they are shifting to lower entities now. So it's confirming that these guys here are still distributing so still declining the question um or another case sorry they are not declining i mean they are declining in wallets indicating they are distributing but at the same time they are getting more bitcoins meaning some other wallets and this entity are buying and that's why it's lifting up you know i hope it was clear so just imagine uh, just an, an example, this entity has 1980 wallets and every wallet has a balance between 1000 to 10,000 bitcoins. That's indicating us the total Bitcoin balance of this entity. 
So of all wallets that are holding 1000 to 10,000 Bitcoins, if we see that the wallet count and this entity reduced, usually the Bitcoin balance should go down as well. But if you see the count is reducing, means they are send, selling Bitcoins less than 1000 Bitcoins. So it shifted, for example, to this entity next, but the balance is lifting up, indicating that the others are still buying. And that matches very well to the material scientist chart, for example. But we need to be extremely careful because they like to do it to dump the market afterwards. So we need to be extremely careful here once again. And that's also indicating, I mean, they are sending Bitcoins to centralized exchanges. That's usually not good at all. Uh, well, market activity, Bitcoin, we see that uh, the reserves of miners are really declining even more. So they are selling uh, Bitcoins to survive and to pay their bills, it seems. So they used also the opportunity where the price went up to sell. Mm, I think data arrow once again here. Let me check. And we will see here. Yeah, OTC almost dead. That's really strange. Gimini at the moment selling, it seems. Also Binance, Allcax, Binance here. Someone started to distribute. That uh, matches very well um, to the to the to the graph. Um, yeah, I can I can take out FTX because that doesn't make any sense anymore. So uh, we see here Binance. Someone at Binance is reducing, is selling. But it's pure centralized exchanges, OTC, almost flat. Nothing happening here. Okay, that's it. Let us go forward. So I have you, I, I'm using the HD head, head map because I have a better performance then. Um, so I can zoom in some. Well, I thought it would be better. I don't know. However, uh, we see here, and you remember I said, hmm, we have here at 17 K, uh, on Coinbase, a sell order, they triggered it. And afterwards they started to decline. They triggered it. We have another one at 17 five. However, um, big ones, um, the next one would be at 15, five, 15 and 40. They have reduced liquidity to the downside. So 13.5, for example, even 13K, even here, for example, they removed even liquidity. So it's unprotected if you want to say that in that way. However, it would make sense to go up 17.5. Let us uh, change once again. I don't know if it makes sense for them to go once again 17.5 and then go down once again. It's it's possible. So let us go and check what's happening to Deribit. Well, Deribit, nothing. You see here, We re, if we reduce, uh, we can see here something, but nothing big. Also here waiting at 18 to, uh, too short, 18k too short, and they removed a lot of liquidity to the downside, so nothing happening here. Uh, Bitstamp, the ultra bullish exchange, even more than Coinbase, uh, 15k. Uh, we have still the sandwich here. Um, they are here protecting at 16k and that's it so I don't see anything useful here at the moment no okay Binance on Binance very interesting um, because you know that's what I tweeted today for example we have here they moved those two orders once here 175 then 172 or something they missed to trigger it just i 100 dollars or something really 
that was yeah not even right uh, yeah thirty dollars or something so I can imagine to make another push up maybe even to 17.5 this weird and then go down however they are waiting at 16k uh, even they removed uh, some liquidity even here at 15k and so on and so forth but you see that's still intact here so we need to see what Binance is going to do next. Bitfinex spot. I'm still waiting here at 15.8. I'm not sure, but it looks like also 16. No, it's not. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Otherwise, waiting here at 20, 19, 20, and so on. OKX spot. Mm, nothing. Kraken spot. Mm, waiting here at 15k. So, but also nothing. Bybit, nothing, Bitmax, uh, interesting, they are just, Bitmax just waiting at 13.5, Binance Futures, Okay, Binance Futures is very interesting. They are almost waiting between 19 and 20 to short. A little bit lower maybe as well here. What is that? 18, 18, 7. But yeah, once again, if we check that here, uh, let me check until here, that would be 17, 2. Uh, almost similar, almost neutral. We have this almost the same volume well a difference of 1000 bitcoins between longs and shorts a little bit more longs than shorts but nothing big to be honest bitfinex derivatives nothing kraken futures no nothing okay okex futures Nope, nothing. Okay, swap. Mm, nothing, just indicating they are, you know, buying bitcoins, but nothing else. And buy it, USDT pair. 540 bitcoins waiting here, but it doesn't look like a wall to be honest. It's 167. But it looks like push up distribution, push up, maintain their distribution, collect longs down. We will see. We I would be very careful and you know if you if you can um, if you can um, just hatch i would i would say would be a nice way just hatch and you know and wait and that would be at least my strategy in such case because it's it's we can go a little bit more up 75 i i don't think it's over uh, it doesn't look like usually the reserves should decline you know but even it, it's so sequences they push up distribute it once again then they let the price go down so we need to check and zoom out a little bit uh, i think uh, to have more clarity what's going to happen next and let us go forward 